I don't yeah. want to overplay what happened there. We have no idea. This um, is what I think probably happened, because this happens a lot in paternity wards. You know, a baby gets too close to the door, and sensors go off, alarms go off, and the nurses, they don't know who's holding the baby, they don't know if it's the dad or not, and they become the SWAT team, because they don't want to let a baby leave the, the ward. Uh, I wouldn't uh, call it a SWAT team, they're doing no. their job. Well, They're yeah, doing that's their what job, I'm saying, because but it's when, a good SWAT team. Yes, they, exactly. They well, there's go a reason for that, right? Every, yeah. every exit is covered, every baby is Because there have been abductions. Because they do not want a baby to disappear, and I've, you right. know, dads are just trying to kind of walk around the hallway, yeah, and but in uh, all oftentimes fairness, they get right close. as baby's born, there's, I mean, right in the, the delivery room, we're in there, the nurses are telling the fathers right, right away, mm -hmm. you cannot, if you take off your bracelet, because there's usually a bracelet on baby, mm -hmm. mom, and dad, if you take off your bracelet, you will not be able to, you know, leave this area right. with the baby. A lot of them will have those baby low jacks and things like that, but they're told right as soon yeah. as that baby, they have to check the numbers on the bracelets. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, again, we don't yeah, he, know what he was doing. It did say that he was trying to take his baby out for fresh air, but if you know the yeah, rules, it's right. just like airports. He, You've got to play by the rules because was, they're there for protection. So let's talk about abduction prevention procedures. This is called the My Child Infant Security System. And a lot of hospitals, the ankle bands are worn. This is a different type. This is actually, an umbilical cord tag, and what you do is you clamp the umbilical cord with this tag, and it has the, the serial number on it that then matches, Lisa mentioned this, the number that registers the baby in the system, then mom and dad wear on their wrists these tags, which have the exact same number, so that you know for sure right, when mom and dad say who they are. They say mm -hmm. them back and forward, so they know that everything is matching. Oh, yeah. so, so let's just say that you're your mom, and your dad, okay. and you're sleeping, and I'm, I'm, you're sleeping. I'm, I'm, a, sh I'm a shady game. guy. I'm watching the game. Okay. And I don't know any better, and this system is in place, and I sneak into the nursery. You're out of here. There you go. Meanwhile, I'm watching the football game. And I'm thinking I can sneak out, and, and, and I'm good to go. I'm, I'm close to the door. Busted. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you come back with that baby. Catch me if you can. But that is the reason that these systems are in place. Imagine, okay. even if you're the father, if you're holding your baby and you try to exit, of course the staff is going to come. Yeah. Try to tackle you because mm -hmm. they don't know. Yeah, they, they don't know, they don't know whose baby it is. Yeah. Babies also, look a lot of like sometimes. cases and things like that. Somebody may come in and do that, and they don't know. Even if it's the actual dad, they don't know if that dad has the right to do things. So it is it's so important to, to follow those rules. They're there for a reason. Because even if there aren't a lot of abductions, if it's your baby and it's mm -hmm. one baby, that's all it takes.